How are you all? Hope you all must be keeping well. Today we are going to start chapter number 9 The Adventures of Pinocchio in English Mulberry Book. So let's start the story. Once upon a time a carpenter picked up a strange lump of wood while mending a table. So there was a carpenter who picked up a strange lump of wood. What is a lump? It is a piece of wood that does not have a shape. When he began to chip it, chip means to cut it. When he began to cut it, the piece of wood said, Ouch! Stop! This frightened the carpenter. Have you seen any piece of wood talking to you? No, no. So, it was very strange that a piece of wood was talking to the carpenter. And it made the carpenter frightened. He decided to get rid of it at once. So, the carpenter decided to be free from the piece of wood because it was annoying him. So, he just wanted to give that piece of wood to anybody else. So, he gave it to his friend Gepetto who wanted to make a puppet. So, he had a friend, his name was Gepetto and he wanted to make a puppet and he wanted a piece of wood for making the puppet. So, the carpenter gave this piece of wood to Gepetto. Gepetto took the wood home happily. I will call my puppet Pinocchio, he said. So, the Gepetto just decided to call his puppet by the name Pinocchio. Gepetto carved the hair, the forehead and the eyes. To his surprise, the eyes moved and then stared at him. How strange, said Gepetto. So, when Gepetto took Pinocchio home, he cut it, he carved it into and changed, did some transformation. He made his hair, his forehead and the eyes. And as soon as he made the eyes, his eyes started moving. There were the eyeballs who started moving. And stared at him and looked uh, towards Gepetto continuously. Then Gepetto thought, how strange it is. Then he quickly carved the nose, which began to stretch. As soon as he finished, it stretched and stretched and stretched into the longest nose that Gepetto had ever seen. Gepetto kept cutting it and cutting it, but the more he cut, the longer the nose grew. So he left it as it was. So when he started making the nose, it began to stretch. Stretch means to become longer. And as he was cutting the nose, it was growing longer and longer. So at the end, he left it as it was, as he was tired of cutting his nose again and again. Next, he carved the mouth and the mouth began to laugh. Don't laugh at me, said Gepetto. Pinocchio stopped laughing, but he stuck out his tongue rather rudely. That's not right, said Gepetto, as he began carving the chin, the neck, the shoulders and then the stomach, the arms and the hands. As soon as his arms were ready, Pinocchio reached out and pulled Gepetto's hair. This shows that Pinocchio was a very naughty puppet because as soon as Gepetto made his hands, he just tried to pull Gepetto's hair. Stop that, said Gepetto. Then he took hold of him under the arms and put him on the floor to teach him to walk. When all the body parts were made, then Gepetto tried, just helped him, just tried him to uh, make him how to walk. So he wanted to teach Pinocchio 
how to walk pinocchio's legs were so stiff okay that he could not move them geppetto held his hand and showed him how to put one foot before the other so in this way geppetto taught pinocchio how to walk pinocchio soon started walking by himself he ran all around the room and before geppetto could stop him he ran right out of the door then as soon as pinocchio started walking he kept running here and there and one day he ran right out of the door geppetto ran after him and brought him back home i am sorry said pinocchio geppetto forgave him once pinocchio's legs and feet were carved geppetto made him a suit out of flowered paper a pair of bark shoes and a soft bread hat so in this way geppetto made some accessories for pinocchio so that pinocchio will look good in all these things so he made a suit made up of flowered paper shoes and hat pinocchio hugged geppetto when pinocchio saw that geppetto had made so many things for him he became very happy and he hugged geppetto and said that i would like to go to school now he gave now he wished something that he wanted to go to school to learn and to help when you are old so he said that when you will become old then i will try to help you so children how do you like this story isn't it good i hope you have enjoyed this story and understood it children a pdf has been uploaded with this video kindly go through it read the chapter thoroughly and understand it and please do all the exercises in your english to copy bye for now children take care of yourself stay home stay safe